Hey guys, today we're gonna to take a look at the Canon 50 millimeter 1.2 RF lens. So as with all of the RF lenses, you have the top control ring right here. On the Canon RP, it's kind of a pain to change the ISO in camera because you have to hit a couple buttons. With this, you just turn the ring super fast, super easy. You wanna say hi? Oh, Owen wanted to say hi. hi. Say hi. You gotta look here. Hi. I know, I was looking in the screen too. You gotta look at the lens. Say hi guys. Hi guys. All right, so next we have the focus ring. Very smooth. All right, so this is the lens hood right here. Um, and all together, this is about how big the lens is when you put the lens, off, lens hood on. So, I mean, that's a pretty hefty lens right there. Um, and it's actually a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. So, uh, let's see. Let's take this off. I'll show you guys the front element. <clears throat> yeah, look at that thing. That's nice. That's really nice. So I've only been shooting on this lens for about a week now. Some things I noticed right off the bat are it's a super sharp lens. Yeah, I, I'm super excited to see how all of these RF lenses do on the new camera body that's gonna come out. Uh, later this year. I mean, they just kind of seem like they're designed for a higher resolution body. So um, not that that's really everything, but it's nice. So when I was taking some pictures that were in a backlit scenario, uh, I did notice that there was some green and purple fringing. Yeah, so I mean, with this lens, you are gonna get some of that chromatic aberration, but it's really easily fixed in, in Lightroom, so. Uh, no worries there. I actually think I prefer this over the 85 just because um, they didn't do so much to the lens in terms of trying to correct for those chromatic aberrations. So I think what we get in this lens is a little bit more of a, um, a pleasing out of focus background um, rather than uh, somewhat of a, a harsher rendering that you would get with the 85 millimeter RF lens. Uh, so I wanted to show you something interesting that you get in terms of the um, out of focus background on the Canon EOS RP when you're shooting at faster shutter speeds. All right guys, so here's a backlit picture of my son that I just took. Uh, you'll notice the purple and green fringing, but like I said, easily corrected. And uh, in the background, you notice that those bokeh balls are clipping. I think that's something specific to the EOS RP in that it only uses an electronic shutter. But if I'm wrong about that, let me know. But I had a similar uh, issue with my old uh, X100F Fuji camera when shooting at higher shutter speeds. If there's any questions that you have about this lens or anything that you guys might want to see in a future video, just let me know and I will definitely try to bring that to you guys. 